hello guys welcome back to the quantity surveying workshop and to another video in today's video in the series for measurement of superstructural works we are going to be treating how to calculate the reinforcement bars now in the previous video we calculated um for insto concrete for the details now if you look at this diagram it's it's shown that the lintels have four reinforcement bars inside of them and it is connected by what little bars called stirrups so we are going to be calculating for these bars these four bars inside the um inside the lintel and also for the stirrups and how many stirrups are inside of one lintel so we're going to be calculating that and um before we go further, I want you to also have in mind that if you look at these reinforcement bars, they are not just straight. At each end, there's what we call a hook. So we are going to be capturing for this hook also when we're calculating. So let's dive right into the video. So in determining the length of your reinforcement bar, all you need to know or all you need to do is to get the calculated length of your lintels which you have already done and then minus concrete cover now this concrete cover is a space just at the beginning of the lintel like this space covers the reinforcement inside that's why when you see they are combined they are constructing lintels the reinforcements are not usually showing so what makes this reinforcement not to show is the fact that they added a space called concrete cover so the reinforcement are inside the concrete so when you have the length of your lintel you minus concrete cover from both sides which will give you what the length of the reinforcement bar and after you have the length of your reinforcement bar like i said the reinforcement bar comes with a hook so there's a formula for calculating this hook when you calculate the hook on both sides you add it to the length of your reinforcement bar so let's calculate now instead of referring back to your plan to calculate the length of the lintels you have already done that in the lintel openings already in your lintel openings already like here the one you know that the length of the lintel you've calculated it as 1.3 dot 2 you calculated the length of the lintel as 1000 dot 3 you can um, in the one you calculated the length of the lintel as 1300 so you'll be taking the um information from the lintel openings and then you'll be using it for your reinforcement but so We have that the one, the length of the lintel is 1300. So we less what concrete cover, which is what 2 by what 50, that's 50 mm on both sides, which will give us what 100. So, This will give us 1,000 watts, 200. Then you add your hook. Now the formula for calculating hook is two by 12 by the thickness of the reinforcement. Now in this case, we're going to be assuming that the diameter of the reinforcement used here is a 12 mm reinforcement bar. So the thickness of the reinforcement will now be what 12. These two stand for the hook, the two hooks on both sides. That's the hook is on both sides. That's what these two stands for. So the 12 at the end stands for the thickness of the reinforcement bar. So if it is a 22 mm reinforcement bar, you know that it is 22 that you are going to write at the back. So 2 times 12 times 12 is equal to 288 which will give me 1488 then you book 
one point what four nine and then you close now if you remember in the diagram there are four reinforcement bars inside one lintel so you times this by what four and then you times it by the amount of lintels that are found in the plan and in this case door one has only what one door there's only one door one in the plan so you leave it like this or you times it by what one now we go towards door two and the length of the lintel covering the two is 1000 so we say length is equal to what 1000 then be less what concrete cover which is what 2 by what 50 to give us what 100 and then that will give us 900 So since we have this as the length of the reinforcement, we'll add our what hook, which is two by twelve by what the thickness of the reinforcement by which is what twelve mm, and that will give us two hundred and eighty-eight. When you add both of them together, it will give us one hundred plus two eight eight one thousand one hundred and what eighty-eight. So this is the um, value for the reinforcement in dot two and then you book 1.19 then you close times it by the four reinforcement bars in the lintel then times it by the amount of door two in the plan and in this case if you remember it was what 10 so you times it by what 10 Then we we'll move to the next parameter, uh, which is window one. So the length of our window one is 1,300. Then you less the concrete cover, which is two by 50, and that will give us 100. So when you less them, it will give you 1,000 watt, 200. So you add your watt hook. which is 2 by 12 by what? 12 and that will give us 200 and what? 88 when you add them together to give me 1400 and what? 88 convert it to meters that will give me 1.49 so we we'll book 1 point what? 49 and then you close you times it by what four because of the four reinforcement bars, and then you times it by the number of um, lintels in window one. The amount of lintels having the size of window one, and that will give me what nine. So we go to the next one, which is window two. So for window 2, the length of the lintel in window 2 is 700 mm, then you less your concrete cover as usual which is 2 by 50 and that will give us 100, then when you minus them you get 600, then you add your hook on both sides which is 2 by 12 by 12 and that will give us 288. So when you add 288 to 600 to give us 888, then you convert it to meters that will give us 0 0.89 then you book 0 0.89 you know that there are four reinforcements inside the lintel so we times it by what four and then you times it by the amount of window tools in the plan which is what five and then you close then we go to the next one which is um the lintels at the porch and the lintel at the lobby so for the porch, the length of the lintel above the porch opening is 5625. So you less concrete cover, which is 2 by 50, and that will give us 100. When you add them together, when you less them together, it will give you 5525. Then you add the hook, 
which is 2 by 12 by 12 and that will give us 288 when you add them together this will give you what 5813 then you convert it to meters by dividing it by what 1000 and that will give me what 5.81 in two decimal places then you times it by the amount of um, reinforcement inside the lintel which is what four and then you close then you go to your to your lintel at the lobby so when you so at the lobby the length of the lintel at the lobby is 2725 then you less your concrete cover as usual which is two by what 50 and that will give us 100 so when you less it you get 2625 then you add your hook which is 2 by 12 by 12 and that will give me what 288 adding them together you get a total of 2913 then you convert this unit this um value into meters by dividing it by what 1000 and that will give you what 2.91 so you book here 2.91 then you times it by the amount of reinforcement inside the lintel which is four then you close now doing this you booked for the entire reinforcement inside inside all the lintels in your plan and then all you need to do is to describe so when describing, all you need to do is to describe um, the nature of the operation. So you will see high tensile steel. You know there are different kinds of reinforcements on bars. There's local and there's TMT. So I would go for the TMT reinforcement. So I will say high tensile steel TMT reinforcement bar. Then I will state the size of the reinforcement. So. Like I said in the calculation, we are going to be assuming that the size of the reinforcement is 12 mm thick. So I will add that in my description. So it will be high tensile steel TNT reinforcement by 12 mm thick in what lintels and then you close. Doing this, you've successfully booked for your reinforcement bars. Then we move to the stirrups. That is the little iron holding the reinforcement bars inside the lintels together we have to also book for it now when calculating for your stirrups i want you to have this in mind the block work or rather the thickness of this of the of the lintel like i said before carries the thickness of the wall and the height of the lintel is the standard height of of a block and you know the standard height of a block is two to five so it means for both the two to five mm or nine inches block and the 150 mm or six inches block would have a height of what two to five and then the thickness would what vary so just have this in mind that the height of your lintel is usually what two to five and then the thickness of the lintel varies it could be two to five it could be what 150 depending on the type given in your plan so now looking at this this is a cross section of our lintel inside has the four reinforcement connected to what the links and if you are observant the link also has what two hooks one hook like this and the other hook like that it will be connected to one of what the reinforcements so each of the links inside one lintel would have what two hooks connected to what one reinforcement bar so now how do we determine what is the actual length of this our links now to calculate that all we need to do is this since we know that the height of our lintel is two to five we are going to be minusing what concrete cover because the links are what inside of what the um the concrete the institute concrete so now when calculating for the stirrups or the links 
the concrete cover to be removed is not 50. That would be too excess to be removed for this um, small space. So we usually use 25 mm as the concrete cover for what lintels. So all you need to do now is since you know the height of your um, of your lintel which is two to five you less what 25 from both sides that's 25 from here and 25 from what here to give you the length of this side of the stirrup then you times it by what two because of they are on both sides and you do the same to this other side since the thickness of the lintel is two to five you less what concrete cover of what 25 from both sides whatever you get you times it by what two because they are both up and down now when you times it by two you add what you've gotten together and then you add your hook it's similar to the way we calculated for what the reinforcement bar so now let's see how it goes now we'll see we're starting with what the length the length is equal to what two to five then we less what well, let me just see the height rather is two to five then we less what concrete cover that's two by what 25 and that will give me what 50. And that's 50 will give me what 175 and then we times it by what two because they are on what both sides and that will give me what 350 so we do the same thing for the thickness we know that the thickness of the lintel is what two to five then we less what concrete cover that's 2 by what 25 and that will give me what 50 that is 175 then from here from here to here is what 175 then we'll times it by what 2 because of their both up and down so we times it by what 2 and that will give me what 350 when you add 350 so this other one 350 that will give me what 700 so now after we've gotten this we're going to what add our what hook and i told you the formula for calculating the hook is what 2 by 12 by the thickness of the reinforcement now in the links the thickness of the reinforcement used is usually 8 mm 8 mm thick reinforcement don't forget that 8 mm so instead of using 12 here you are going to be using what 8 so 2 times 12 times 8 will give me what 100 and what 92 so when you add these two together you get what 800 and what 92 now this 892 is the length of this stirrup including what the hook now the next thing we need to do is to calculate the number of this stirrup that is going to be on a, on one lintel now what i mean is this if you look at this this um drawing you will see that the the reinforcement is connected to different lintel the different stirrups rather so as long as this reinforcement there are going to be plenty of stirrups connected connecting the reinforcements together so we need to calculate how much or how many lintels are going to be connecting the length of a particular reinforcement bar so now we want to know the number of stirrups in the reinforcements inside the lintel for the one so what we need to do now is this we'll write the one now you need to take the length of the reinforcement without adding the hook from both sides 
and from our previous calculation the length of the reinforcement when you haven't added the hook on both sides is 1200 so uh, our advice you refer to our previous um calculation on the length of the reinforcement so you know that the length is 1200 so now we are going to be dividing this 1200 by 150 so it means that each lintel should have a space i said each so it means that each stirrup should have a spacing of what 150 mm so we're going to be dividing this 1200 by what 150 to know the number of stirrups that are going to be inserted in what the reinforcement for the one so we'll see 1200 divided by what 150 is going to give me me eight then what you do is you add what plus one which will be equals to what nine number so when you want to book you are going to book the length of the stirrup and then times it by what the number you've calculated so you convert 892 into meters to give me what 0 0.89 you times it by what 9 so this is that for what door 1 we move to what door 2 so the length of the reinforcement is what 900 then we divide it by what 150 and that will give us six so it will be six plus what one and that will give me what seven so we calculate we um we book zero point what eight nine times it by what the number which is what seven so we move to window one and the length of the reinforcement is what 1200 divided by the spacing of what 150 and it's going to give us what it then you add plus one which is equals to what nine then you book the length of the stirrup 0 0.89 you close and then you times it by what the number which is what nine then you go to your porch your porch opening and the length of the reinforcement used at the porch is what five thousand five hundred and what twenty five and you divide it by what one hundred and fifty and what do we have thirty six point eight which is approximately what 37 so it will be what 37 plus what one so we book 0 0.89 times you multiply it by what 38 and then you close then the next one would be our lobby The length of the reinforcement used at the lobby is what 2625 divided by the spacing of what 150 and that to give us what 17.5 which is approximately 18 plus what 1 which will give me what 19 so we we'll book 0 0.89 times what 19 and then we close doing all this you've booked for your stirrups or links that will be used to attach the reinforcement at at each lintel in the floor plan so the next thing you need to do now is to describe so your description is easy i want you to know that one one thing i want you to, I want you to understand something that when you want to describe there are two things is either your description is based off of assumption or your description is based off of the specifications given to you in your drawing sometimes you are given specification sometimes you will not be given specification but what you'll be given are 
representation in form of drawing like you see some representations in your elevation and sections and stuff like that so it is from there you used to do your words description so here i would say since if i want to describe here now i know that the thickness of the reinforcement used for this stirrup is what eight mm thick so i'm going to say mild steel 8 mm thick reinforcement bar as stirrups in winter and then we close or you can see mild steel 8 mm thick reinforcement bar as stirrups used to hold the four reinforcement bars in lintels that is description you just have to it is very easy you just have to know the nature of the work and you are good to go so doing this we've come to the end of the series for carrying out measurements for superstructural works um if you had any valuable information from this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and i would like to say pardon me for the noise in the um, background the vicinity i stay is quite noisy so thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video